morning. Hello, Renat. How are you? Great to see you here. Hello, Diggs BTW7. Welcome in. to see you all. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> really glad you're here. And Renat, yes, everything is going well. Everything is peachy, peachy over here in Berlin. Uh, over the weekend, I had a Halloween party. I mean, I went to a Halloween party. It was like a, like a late Halloween party. Um, and it was a lot of fun. My husband and I dressed up. I put all this like fake blood on my face. It was really cool. <laughs> yeah, so we had a good weekend. Coming home in a car. Oh, okay. Nice. TV. Can you guys see the, the emote menu for it? Because I still can't see the, the emote menu, but if I type in, if I type in the emotes, um, it works. Like, look, there's a, there's cat jam. <laughs> like that works, but I can't see the menu. And I, I followed I followed your instructions. I tried um, re reinstalling it, but I, st I don't get a better TTV icon in my browser, so I don't understand that. And then um, I also followed Monk's instructions. I changed the menu in the settings of the chat, um, but I still don't see it, so I don't know. I'd be curious to know, do you guys have um, like if you look in the emotes, do you see a menu for the better TTV emotes? Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it, but I will figure it out. Um, but actually, yeah, today uh, I want to play originals improv, but I also have some um, like uh, stream upkeep stuff to do. And one of the things is I'm going to ask you guys about the better TTV stuff. Maybe now is a good time. There's not too many people in here. Um, I hope you guys don't mind. I can share my screen and let's see. Yeah, so this is my Better TTV dashboard. Um, these are all the emotes that I got. It was so fun. There's so many emotes. Uh, I don't know, like, I guess I should get more of like the normal ones, like the ones that more people have, but there's just so many options. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's see, for example, 
what do we got? We got uh, we got a Geralt emote. <laughs> we got a Witcher emote. Isn't that cool? Oh man. Um, we're not. I'm missing Mozilla and Chrome. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm using Mozilla, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's working. Like, the emotes are working. I just don't have a menu, so it's kind of, kind of weird, but okay. It's fine. Let's see, what else, what else do we got? I got fire. Du, 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 du. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. How are you doing, Spy Hoppa? It's nice to see you here. For those of you who haven't checked out Spy Hoppa's stream, you should go do that. You should go follow Spy Hoppa. Let's see if I can do a shout out. I know how to do a shout out. Oh, yay, it worked. <laughs> Yes, always amazing music over there, right up my alley. It's nice to see you all in here today. We've got Mr. Fribbles, Spy Hoppa, Renatius T. I hope you guys are doing good today. Today we actually have some sunny weather here in Berlin with some rare sunny weather and it's it's really nice kind of a wintry wintry feeling sunny day um, it's not it's not too cold it's just a bit chilly and yeah I think it's gonna be a nice day today I think it's gonna be a nice day <laughs> So today we are doing improv and originals. The requests are open. Uh, right now you can only request original songs by me. So feel free to check out the song list, make a request, help me practice my songs, um, get me practice performing these songs in front of y'all. stream here. Good luck with your work prep. You're in California, right? That's where I'm from. Bay Area, awesome. I'm from SoCal.
sun bodied. Yeah, my mic was off. Actually, it's because I was using it um, to record this flute sound. So then I guess um, now that it's replaying the flute sound, now that it's, uh, oh yeah, see now I turned off, when I turned off the flute sound, you could hear me talk again. Anyways, welcome, welcome all in. Thanks so much for the resub, Monk. Really appreciate you. So nice to see you here. Welcome, Afro. It's nice to see you again. I feel like it's been a while. How are you doing? And welcome, Sunbodied and Urkum4. Ciao, how are you? Thanks so much for the follow, Urkum. I saw that you followed me earlier. <laughs> Yay, Monk, using the new Better TTV emotes. I got these new emotes, but for some reason I can't see them. the menu. Like, I still can't see the menu, Monk, even though I followed your instructions. I turned on the, the uh, setting for that, but I don't know. Maybe I, have, maybe I have to restart everything. I don't know. Anyways, um, Sunbodied, am, are, are you into playing jazz? Well, I'm not, like, very... Don't consider myself to be very proficient in jazz, but it depends how you define jazz. I mean, I guess I guess I play jazz because I play like you know, kind of weird notes. Today um, we're doing just uh, improv and requests from my song list, which you can check out over here. This is my song list, and today I'm um, only doing originals, so these are just songs that I've written. Feel free to put a request in my request box over there. Um, yeah, otherwise I'm just improvising today. But if you like jazz, I will try to be jazzy. I'll do a little jazzy improv. Um, I really, I'm not like educated in jazz, so um, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> don't know jazz, but. of jazz though is that it's just there's no mistakes 
you know? And I feel like that is my, I relate to that or that's, I feel my uh, philosophy. So I feel like I, sh- I feel like I share a spirit of jazz, but I'm not like educated in it. So, um, but I think, um, you know, jazz like, just sort of breaks open the traditional understanding of um, music theory and harmony and like uh, yeah and I love that so I love that like interesting chords you know jazz chords are you know Versus 100. Hello from Mexico. I'm sure I said your name wrong, but welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Afro says, I love jazz. Yes, Afro. W- would love to hear your, some of your recommendations in here. Um, Sunbodied, Bill Evans, Dan- D'Angelo, and Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, of course, the classic. I have to confess, I'm really, like I said, not very well versed or educated in jazz. Uh, Gershwin, yes, amazing composer. D- do I know how to play it? No, <laughs> no, I don't. Although I do uh, kind of remember how some of them go like in my head. Isn't there one like... I forget. <laughs> I forget. But yes, Gershwin is an amazing composer. Um, and thank you, Sunbodied, for the compliment. Uh, why is it that some pianists bounce and lift their hands from their keys a lot and another and others don't? I think it was just um, a, a type of expression. Like, you know, like a lot of uh, jazz play. you know, they're like really like um, physically expressive. Like, you know, like this. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Like that? <laughs> like just bouncing their hands like that? Um, Miles Davis, yes, kind of blue. Yes, it's a wonderful, wonderful album for sure. Um, Bounce, yeah, I, 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 I guess the uh, bouncing the hands is just part of expression, but like, um, you definitely have to know where your hands are going back, or, or at least, uh, 
or not care because you know for me anyways like I, if I like lift them up too high like it's hard for me to um, keep track of where I was if that makes sense but um, I guess every pianist expresses himself differently um, if, if I were a beginner I think doing that lifting like that would be pretty challenging um, but I don't know uh, you're learning piano that's really awesome um, glad to hear that you're learning and yeah um, don't get not getting hand damage I mean I don't think there's anything wrong with with you know lifting the hands off or not you know but um, a good thing for for your hands is to make sure that um, you do like exercises for them um, not just playing piano but also um, trying to do like stretches and stuff um, like for example I mean you can you can do this with me right now um, you guys let's stretch our hands I mean even if you don't play piano or an instrument like if you work in front of a computer you know your hands and wrists get sore um, so let's stretch our hands <laughs> all right so first um, you're gonna take your fingers put them together I'm just showing you how they all my fingertips are touching make sure the the fingers are spread as uh, wide as you can and press them together like this gently just press them and you should feel it in your fingers try to keep your fingers spread wide so that you can kind of feel it um, in between your fingers like I feel it a bit like in between each finger um, you can kind of press your hands together a little bit and it feels good yeah like oh monkey you know yeah rock climb climbing that makes sense it's very important for that yeah, don't overdo the stretches because then you might hurt your hands, but just some gentle love is definitely good for them. Um, and then this is a wrist stretch. Just point your arm forward. Hold your hand, pull it backwards a little bit. Um, make sure that your arm is stretched out fully so you're not like bending your elbow like that but just holding it straight out and you can kind of turn the wrist a little bit back and forth just however it feels good to you um, you can let go and do it upside down like so yay sun bodied let's do the stretches together yeah, it's good for me. <laughs> Taking a little break. Yeah. And you can just move it around a little bit gently. And then I'll do the other hand. Arm stretched out. And with the piano, I would say like you know, it just like do do your uh, scale exercises. Those are really good for your overall strength of your fingers. Um, if you feel if you feel like you're getting a workout, that's good. So like, it's okay. You know the difference between like you know when you do a workout and you feel like you're putting effort, your muscles are working, and maybe they feel like kind of sore. That's fine. But if you get like sharp pains or anything, then you need to stop, um, take a break. So um, same with piano, you know, you're uh, developing your muscles and your um, your dexterity. You don't want to like overdo it, <laughs> you know, um, but you but it's OK to like, you know, when you feel like that kind of, um, you know like you're you're working <laughs> like that's good because that means that over time you'll get stronger your wrists will get stronger um, and just make sure that you're um, 
your posture is good. So you want to have approximately a right angle with your elbow. You don't want you don't want to be like playing the piano like this or or like like this. Um, I mean, I guess sometimes in live situations um, you have to kind of make do, but um, but yeah. Uh, so have good posture and uh, make sure also that you're using your body as well. So for example, like you don't want to just like be stuck, like your body is like here and you're just going like, like from the bottom to the top of the piano. That's like really tiring and a lot for your arms. So, you know, you want to have, uh, have it so that, you know, you can, you can do this. So where you're kind of moving like that. Uh, that's another tip. Um, uh, what else? Ah, here's a good wrist, um, uh, wrist flexibility and strengthening exercise. I actually learned this in my uh, martial arts class because I do, I do Filipino martial arts, which um, we use a lot of weapons. So we use knives and well, training knives, of course, because you know, uh, don't actually train with real knives unless you're a master. But yeah, um, we use like sticks. So there's a lot of um, a lot of wrist strength involved. And this is the exercise that we learned. So take your hands and you're gonna draw figure eight with your um, your index finger, like starting inwards. And you don't wanna be doing it with your arms. You wanna be doing it only with your wrists. So you're just drawing, you're just, your wrist is moving so that that pointer finger is drawing a figure eight. And if you do this for long enough, you should feel that this is exercising your wrist. And it feels really good. And then you change the direction. So now it's your pinky finger that's drawing a sideways eight and keeping your elbows to your side. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> I like stretch break, you guys. And sunbodied, um, that's great to hear that you aren't getting sharp pains anymore because that's that's uh that just means that your hands probably need some rest and a healthy soreness sounds good and yes it's okay for your body to sway left and right uh for sure yeah you don't want to be like stuck in the middle and like <laughs> you know the piano is 88 keys so yeah you want to you want to like use the the whole thing like with your with your whole body but you you um sometimes even like if i'm sitting on a piano bench and I'm, i know i'm going to play a lot in one side i'll just like scoot over to that side because if i'm in the middle and i'll be doing like this for a long time i would actually just adjust like that but um yeah Anyways, while we're taking a break, uh, do you guys want to meet my dog? I've been meaning to like um, sh get my dog in here on stream. Like it hasn't happened yet because he doesn't come in here by himself. Um, he, for some reason, he's a rescue dog and he will come in here if I uh, give him a treat. <laughs> but otherwise he doesn't come in here, like, which is a shame because it's cute when like streamers have pets that come in and hang out with them but uh this guy like he really likes our living room which is out there <laughs> he he's a rescue dog and he has something weird about rooms with doors so this is a kind of a small room with a door like he'll come in here for a treat but like he's not he just doesn't really like hanging out in rooms with doors so it, it's like just like trauma from his past or something. He's like, no, no doors. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, dog show now. Okay, the people have spoken. Um, all right, I'm gonna take this off here. Uh, I will go get my doggy. giant dog. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Yep. He's my friend. Shadow, come here. Sit. Oh, yes, you're fine. I speak like a mix of German and English with my dog for some reason. <laughs> yes, beauty. Yep. Oh, you're so cool. You're so cool. You want another one? Of course you do, yes! Oh, good beauty. Yep, his name is Shadow. He is a probably 10 to 12 year old rescue dog. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a giant dog. Like, I don't, I don't even know if you guys can see like how big this dog is. Like, um, he weighs like 100 pounds, which is like um, 46 kilos. So he's a giant. He's so rare. Yep, his name is Shadow. We adopted him more than a year ago. And um, they thought that he wasn't going to live very long. He was not doing well. I don't know if you guys can see, he only has one eye. Um, and he's an old, old man. Uh, we don't know exactly how old he is. Yes, sit. Oh, sehr fein, yes. Good boy. Uh, we don't know, um, uh, we don't know how old he is, but, um, yeah, probably 10 to 12 years old, and, which is pretty old for a dog this big. And, um, he's some kind of, some kind of, um, shepherd mix. Yes, what's that? Isn't that a guitar? Oh, yes. Uh, he's looking at me like, are you gonna give me more treats? Or should I leave this weird small room? <laughs> yep, anyway, so that's Shadow. Um, he's special, he's a special man. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, he is huge. He's a big baby. Sunbody, I thought it was gonna be a small dog. Nope. Oh, see, he left. <laughs> he like, oh, no more treats. I'm out. Uh, yes, monkey is almost pony sized. Um, shot does shadow like jazz? Um, he's he's okay with it. I mean, he knows I make all kinds of noise, and he's fine with it. He's a very chill dog. Oh, now my hand is covered in hair. Um. He's so chill. Um, yeah, this dog, like we, let's see. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm like gonna ramble about dogs for a bit. Um, yeah, like uh, we had a beautiful golden retriever. Um, my husband got him, when my husband was like 15 years old, he got this dog and that dog lived to 16 years old. And it was a couple years ago he passed away and then um, after that we started fostering dogs so we would foster rescue dogs that um, needed a home they would come to our place and we would like train them and get them um, you know kind of like ready to be adopted um, some of the dogs like they didn't have experience being in a home before so yeah and then people would come over here and visit them and adopt them Thanks for the follow, somebody. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so the dog would come uh, and stay with us for a while. And this dog was, was a foster dog. Um, but 
nobody wanted to adopt him. <laughs> so we adopted him um, and we we're very happy. So um, yeah, when he came to us, like the rescue organization didn't think he was gonna live very long. So they thought, or they asked us to like take him kind of like dog hospice. Um, and yeah, so we took him and he made a really big comeback. Like he still has a lot of struggles you know, he has bad arthritis, he doesn't walk super well, but, you know, he does his best and he's still very excited about, like, going around and snuffling everything outside, so, yeah, so it's been more than a year since he's been here and, you know, he's not showing any signs of going anywhere, he just, he's just an old dog, a big old dog, so, yeah, thanks guys, <laughs> thanks guys for for liking my puppy yep he he kind of like when you're outside and you see him like and he's just in the distance you're like oh shit a wolf what the <laughs> it's crazy um but yeah he's a big baby anyways let's do some music let's do some music let's do some music da -da 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 -da. Da 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 ba da ba ba da ba da ba da 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 ba 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 mm -hmm. Alright, nobody putting, nobody putting requests in, in my request box. Um. Shadow found himself home. Yes, yes. We watch over him and he watches over us with his one eye. He's always like looking. Like he's so quiet. I rarely hear him make any. Like most dogs, you know, they'll bark. You know, even, even if like they don't bark all the time. Like most dogs, you know, they'll bark like once a day or, <laughs> you know, they'll bark at something. This dog barks like once every couple months, maybe. It's very strange. <laughs> very strange how little he barks. Um, but yeah, very cute. Um, yay! Request! Woohoo! Alright, um. Da 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 da. If you were here last time, you'll know that um, some of these I haven't put down the chords and stuff yet. So yeah, so we're going to do that together today. Um, I'm going to go through and put all the chords and the um, lyrics into my little uh, song list thingy here and then I'm going to play it for you guys. Da, 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 da. I've never performed this. So Thank you guys for being the first ones. Oh, actually, I found I have the chords. I have the chords. All right, let's see. <laughs> Monk, that's okay. We can talk more about Shadow afterwards. I am excited to play you guys this song that I haven't played for anyone before, so please be patient with me if it's not perfect. Okay.
sounds in the mind. such a goth name for a dog yeah actually um when we got him like because the shelter gives some names um his name was shaw s-h-a-w shaw just like very weird name it's fine but i don't know we didn't really like it so we gave him the name shadow <laughs> yep and uh yeah because when when you rename a dog like came from the shelter like I don't like to change the name too much, but it's like Shaw, Shadow, Shaw, Shaw, Shadow, like, you know? It was easy for him to get used to. And now he knows his new name real well. Straight. 
guys for listening yep um yeah that song i think i wrote it a year or two ago um more than a year ago thanks monk thank you so much for that request um yeah it's it's pretty rough pretty rough in rough shape but yeah um that one i wrote in a time I was healing from a, a really, really severe illness. And, um, and one of the things that really helped me recover in that time was I started learning about plants and like wild plants. Um, I would just go like on short walks in my neighborhood and look at the wild plants that were growing. And, um, of course, dandelion is a really common one, which most people consider a weed and an unwanted plant. But um, it's such a hardy plant. It's all like it doesn't. It's it's that's why people consider it a weed because it's hard to get rid of, right? Um, but dandelions are really really beautiful. Like I mean, who doesn't have good memories as a kid of like picking dandelions? And, um, yeah, they always grow back. It doesn't matter, like, it doesn't matter how much, you know, people will use chemicals in their garden or whatever, like, dandelions, they're just going to come back. Like, <laughs> you can't get rid of them. You might as well just let them be. But, um, yeah, that song was just about, like, yeah, resilience, basically. Um, and, yeah, that, uh, you know, if you're, if you are, if you're, if you have a dandelion heart, <laughs> then, um, yeah, it doesn't matter, like, what comes your way or whatever, uh, people try, you know, try to take you down or, or whatever, like, stuff happens to you, you know, like, you're always gonna come back, and, uh, that's what that song is about. <laughs> Anyways, um, Catching up on the chat here. Yes, uh, <laughs> Monk. Old dog Mr. Shaw is very fancy. Thanks, Sunbodied. Hello, Geology. Welcome in. Sorry for the late greeting. It's nice to see you here. I th this is the first time you're here, I guess. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh, geology, you are working on some music, but getting writer's block. Oh, I can relate. I can relate. Uh, what kind of music do you make, geology? And are you also a streamer? Um, Monk is some stony geology music. Is it? 
rock music. Okay, see what I did there? <laughs> ah, you guys, um, I love puns. I love puns to an excessive degree. Um, I have a funny story, actually. You guys want to hear a funny story? Funny story. Um, hold on, let me update my song list. You guys feel free to request more songs. Otherwise, we just do in chats and improvs, which is also very, very cool. Um, all right. Yeah. So anyways, the <laughs> funny story um, is that uh, when I was in college, I, I was in the dorms for my freshman year. And, um, you know, you get assigned a roommate, at least in the U.S., where, you know, <laughs> you have roommates. I guess it's not a thing here in Germany. But, um, yeah, I saw I was sharing a room uh, with a random person who is now one of my very best friends. But anyways, um, <laughs> she's a geology major. And uh, we were looking together through, like, different electives uh, that were being offered that semester. And... Uh, we were looking through and she found one. She was like, oh, this looks so, so cool. Um, History of rock. And, um, and I was like, oh, yeah, that looks really cool. You know, we should. Uh, that sounds like a great, a great class. Like, I love rock music. And she's like, rock, rock music. <laughs> like, I want to learn about the history of rocks. <laughs> Um, and she was like really sad that it was a music class and not a geology class. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I love that story. She's one of my best friends now. But that was like one of the cutest things ever. <laughs> um, geology says, I make a variety of genres and making some jazzy hip hop lately. Ooh. That sounds really cool. That sounds awesome. And thank you, Monk, for saying it has a kind of rawness calling out from a bad place you're stuck in. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That means a lot. Monk, roommates in the sense of... I, I know roommates like Viggy. I, ha I mean... But that's different. We're talking actual, we're not talking housemates, we're talking roommates as in in your room. Like you're, you sleep next, like you, you, the beds are next to each other. That's not as common here. I don't think, at least. I mean, uh, I've been in a lot of dorms here as well, like dormitories for students and I have not seen that, but I could be wrong. Um, in any case, all my German friends who, like, studied abroad in the U.S. were like, what? I have to share, like, a room with somebody I don't know? Like, <laughs> they did not like it. So, yeah, here, I mean, shared flats, yes, that that's for sure very common. Um, and yes, I have lived in many a shared flat here in Germany, but we've always had separate rooms. I always have a door between me and the other people. Like, yes, a tiny room, like you said, monk. Like, my first year in Germany, that, uh, yeah, I had a flat with two, two roommates. I guess it's confusing because, like, we say roommates even when they're not, like, in the room. They're more housemates. But, yeah, like, I had two housemates. And, uh... Yeah, we each had a room. I had, like, a pretty tiny room. And, um, yeah. It, it wasn't too bad. Um, but, yeah, uh, sharing sharing a room is a whole other thing. <laughs> like, this friend that I talked about, like, I was really lucky that I got a good roommate because I knew a lot of people, you know, you just get paired with a random person and you don't always get along with them, you know? There's, there was, like, a lot of very, very <laughs> unhappy situations. But, yeah. Like, even with, with uh, my roommate, like, luckily, like, 
we were both very like like we just we were okay with like the other person even though we were quite different like in our like sleep schedules for example like I would stay up way way late like just I would just stay up like the whole night um and she would go to bed early and get up super early so it was like kind of like horrible in that sense just like opposite sleep schedules but like you know we just made it work um but if we weren't like good friends probably we wouldn't have we wouldn't have been happy but um it is weird when you have like like yeah like imagine this room but like there's like a bed there and there's a bed there (laughs) it's like yeah kind of yeah Monk says that's a different kind of arrangement. Yeah, even at university dorm- dorms, everyone has their own admittedly tiny room. Yeah, that's that's what I've seen so far here um, in the dorms in Germany. Uh, geology, my dorm mate was so innocent. <laughs> oh, man. Um, do you mind if I send in a song of mine? Uh, what do you mean, geology? Like, send it. Uh, oh yes monk yes um discord would be good discord would be very good um you can definitely share it in the discord to oh, i guess i should make a channel for for that monk what should i call that channel for like promoting your own stuff it should be called um self promo I guess self promo all right I just created a channel called self promo um please yeah please feel free to post your own artistic stuffs in there um oh geology says something you can improv or something what type of music Oh, Electric Monk. I meant my music as in my music, like music of streamer of this channel. (laughs) But I guess that's very unclear. (laughs) That's quite unclear, actually. I should change that. Um, Geology, I make uh, a lot of piano, kind of cinematic, a bit dark, um, kind of folksy music. It's kind of hard to describe the type of music that I make. Um, Oh, you just recommended that to Gia. That's okay. That's no problems. It's very, it was very unclear, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, Uh, da, 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 da. So you have some music that I can improv to, Geology? Um, yeah, feel free to post it in there. And yeah, I could do that right now, probably. As long as you promise there's nothing like copyrighted in there. There's nothing because um, this will be this will be a VOD. So this will be on my channel. It will be on my YouTube. So as long as you're OK with that and you know that there and you're sure that you don't have any like copyrighted stuff that's gonna get me in trouble then um then that's fine um sure yeah feel free to post it on there feel free and thank you monk thank you thank you um anyways while you're figuring that out i guess i will do a little bit of improv Let's choose a cool sound. How about this one? Thank you. 
Ooh.
Just sitting here Playing some spooky music for my friends Just sitting here Playing some spooky game music for my friends It's a sunny day It's gonna be a wonderful day What do you say? Ooh, it's gonna be a wonderful day Thanks guys for listening to my spooky, so weird, weird improv. <laughs> I told you guys on the, the, the Halloween, the spooky uh, ambiance music festival stream that I had so much fun being scary that I think I'm not going to ever not be scary. It's just going to be, it's just going to be creepier from here on out. That's just how it is. <laughs> just how it's gonna be. So I hope you guys like it. Um, yeah, I really, I, I, th I really like um, kind of cinematic, like ambient types of sounds, and uh, definitely going for that in the music that I make. I would love someday to, you know, make music for for movies or games. Maybe it'll happen, guys, if you help me out. <laughs> I want to make I want to make music for movies and games. That would be really cool. Preferably scary movies or games cuz I think that would be the most fun. Thanks, monk. Thanks or not. All right. So, we're going to do this request here. 
So this is a song when I wrote was when I was a teen. I wrote a lot of songs, especially piano, uh, when I was a teen, and I'm working on an album right now, which is collecting all of those, kind of like a scrapbook of all the stuff that I wrote during that time. So this is one of those songs, and I hope you enjoy it. be on my upcoming album. Please follow me on Spotify and socials and all that jazz so that you will know when these things are out. Thanks everybody for being here. We only have a little bit more time. Let me check the Discord to see Alright, now we're gonna listen to Geology's thingy and see if we can improv on it in our last 10 minutes or so. I hope you're gonna be able to hear it. Um, so please let me know if you can hear this by Geology. Can you hear 
this. That's very, very cool. I'm gonna actually replay it and see if I can play something on the piano with it. Here on the stream. Ba, 
fun that was the first time that was the first time that I ever improved over someone else's um, stuff on the stream so hope you guys enjoyed that thanks so much for being here everybody um <laughs> thanks afro thanks monk for being here thanks geology I don't know if you're still there but I hope you enjoy who <laughs> enjoyed the the uh, improv with your song it was a lot of fun or maybe if they're maybe the, if they're not here they'll be able to check out the VOD later um but yeah thanks everyone who's here Mr. Fribbles I don't know if you're still awake but I'm glad that you tuned in earlier it was nice to see you um, Afro, so good to see you again. Renat, as always, so wonderful to have you here. I hope you all have a good day. Um, it's still sunny outside. A miracle. It's a miracle. Anyways, um, we are gonna go raid somebody. We're gonna raid, 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 raid. Hmm, we're gonna... We're gonna go raid somebody today. We're gonna go raid somebody in a very friendly way. We're gonna raid and pillage and go say hi to some cool other friends here on this website. We're gonna raid, raid. Raid and pillage and a raid, raid in a very friendly way. We're gonna raid, raid in a hard blood way with our torches and our swords held high. And what are we going to say? This is a hard. Blood rain. This is a hard blood rain. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why you guys like me. <laughs> I'm so silly. Yeah, sun. Yes, 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 we got sun here. I hope you got sun wherever you are in Germany, Afro. Um, ready for global warming? No, don't make it depressing, monk. No. Yes, very fun. Yeah, well, that's the, you know, I have to, you know, I have to qualify that it's a friendly way because, you know, prepare to bleed is quite unfriendly sounding but it is actually very friendly so thus the clarification um oh also I, I completely forgot to do all this upkeep stuff that I wanted to do you know what maybe I will take a few more minutes 
you guys feel free to make some suggestions as to raid targets and um, I'm actually gonna do a few upkeepy thingies while you guys are here um, da -da -da -da, da. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. we gonna raid raid in a friendly way you guys I've been singing raid songs like for the past few streams like completely different well not completely like a bit of the lyrics are the same but like completely different music every time and it's been really really a lot of fun I think this is gonna be a thing there's gonna be a raid song there's gonna be a raid song for every raid there's gonna be a raid song because we love to sing silly songs and also very serious songs too um okay you guys can probably see my screen now okay so what was i going to do oh yeah chat command i need a raid chat command how do I do that? Custom commands, right. Okay, add a command. The command shall be raid. Everybody can do it. Okay. This is a hard blood raid. Prepare to bleed. Okay, now I had to put in the emotes. So what are the emotes called that I want to use? The emotes. Haha, <laughs> piano to the face. Just the whole piano. That would make a real cool sound. Keys of pain. <laughs> yep, I just sneak in. I stealthily sneak up on my raid targets with a piano hidden in my back pocket and then I whip it out and smack him in the face. Um, all right, I was gonna check what was the name of that drippy heart emote, the global one. What? Oh, the better TTV emotes are here now. It's working now. Okay, that's good. Um, good, 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 good. Where's the, oh, there's the, bleed purple. Bleed purple is what it is called. <laughs> purple all uppercase, I think. Alright, command is active. Now let's try it. Oh yes, this is the N roof key. Yes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're just preparing to raid, but I just set up a set up a little raid call. Let's see if it works. Oh shit, purple has to be not caps. Oops. Ugh. You guys, I'm such a noob. Oh, right, not all caps like that. Okay. God damn it. Okay. Ugh. Like this. Bleed purple. We will, we will get this set up. Cause I know that like, if I don't do it now, I'm just gonna sign off and then I'm gonna forget to do all these things. So while we're in here, guys, do you have any other suggestions of bot stuff that I need to do? I have shout out, Discord, Spotify, YouTube, Lurk. What are other good ones? Maybe we could make a hug one? 
<gasps> Should we have hugs? Hugs are good. All right, now we can, oh yay, it work. Oh no. Wait. It worked, right? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. Uh, by the way, everybody should all go check out Mrufki's channel. Um, he's doing really cool music improv. Um, really interesting ambient and electronic stuff, if I remember correctly. Last time that I was there, it was very nice. Um, da -da -da -da. Plus, we could add a sub raid for subs with your personal emotes. Are these personal already? Or are they the default ones? Oh, the, um, the, no, those are, those haven't been personalized. So we need to, we need to get some. I need to get some heart blood emotes. I have some ideas. Um, if anybody wants to help me make emotes, that would be cool. Um, but yeah, we could, we could do that. Uh, I mean, I, I just use default ones so far. All, all you get to do is personalize the colors, but yeah. Let's, let's get us some emotes. Um, we can have, I mean, bleeding hearts would be a good idea. <laughs> um, anything bloody would be cool. Uh, we could have wolfy type of ones, like, um, because I have a pet wolf which you guys saw earlier. Um, what other kind of emotes do I want? Piano kind of emotes? Any kinds of piano emotes would be cool. Yeah, I have only very basic graphics talent, but I could try to do something. I just have to research how it's done. Maybe I'll do it on stream sometime. Yeah, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's easier to do stuff on stream with you guys. So maybe I will do like a stream that's just for that stuff. Um, oh yeah, the other thing I was going to do is do like timed stuff, like bot timers, but I'm not too sure I understand it, which is maybe why you guys can help me. Um, okay, you guys should be able to see my screen. Yes, okay. So yeah, this is in stream elements, setting up the bot timers. I think I should probably do one for my socials, at least. Um, but I don't really understand this stuff here. Online interval minutes, offline interval minutes. Okay, the chat lines, that makes sense. It's like it won't send it unless there's like five chat lines, right? Um, so that the bot doesn't like fill up the chat. Um, but I don't get what is online interval and offline interval? Online. I don't get it. What does it mean? I just want it to like post every certain amount of minutes, right? Um, art streams can be fun, yes. <laughs> yes, emotes are kind of magic. That is very true. All right. So anyways, I want a timer that does my socials, which I already have as a command. So maybe I can just copy it. Um, this is, here it is. So socials. Okay, we got the message, and I mean, I don't know how often it should be, like every f 10 minutes or something? Online interval, I don't understand these, like, what if I, it doesn't make sense to me. 
online interval is how often it will send the message. Oh, offline? Oh, offline for like when, I don't get it. Why would I want it to send it when I'm offline? All right, well, I'll turn that off. Okay, this makes more sense now. So I can do it every 10 minutes. That's probably good enough. Okay. Okay, so now we got a socials timer. What other kind of timers do we need? Probably a Discord. Probably a Discord would be good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Join my lovely band of bleeding hearts on Discord. Is that too emo, you guys, to have? No, it's not. I just answered my own question because this channel is going to be all about hearts bleeding. Bleeding. Okay. Um, every 10 minutes. But what if, I guess I should make it not exactly 10 because then it will be posting at the same time as the other one. Because I don't want it to be posting at exactly this. Maybe I make it 15? No, I don't know. 12? Or 11? I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll just do that. We'll see, like, how it works. Bot commands is the next thing I have to do. Yeah. Keep it at 10 and hope that the bot knows not to send all the timers at once. Okay, I could do that. We could just do that and see what it does. And if it says them all at once, it won't be a, a big deal because I only have two bot timers right now. Um, what other? stuff do I have? Yeah, I think bot timers will be very important for you, MoveKey, right? Because um, if I remember correctly, like, um, uh, I think when I was in your chat, you you were saying that, like, you, your English is not, like, super fluent or you don't feel super confident yet. Um, so I think that setting up the timers will be really helpful for you um, so that you can like share all of your information really easily and um, you don't have to worry about like saying it all the time. Um, but yeah, let's see. I guess Spotify could be good. Maybe that's good for now though. Oh, I have a clap. I have a clap too. I'll turn that one on. But I guess I need to choose. I think I made the mistake of choosing a clap that, um, a clap that is not everybody has it. So, Frank, Frank, your clap. I guess I need to choose. Oh, I know what this is the problem because Stream Elements isn't subscribed to Frank, which is very annoying that that's how it works so it has to be a global one or one of mine right P -p 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 -p. oh i could do i could use better ttv ones right because um yeah because oh no no then can stream elements use those let me try what if I put clap and then let us see what clap command does. Oh, it works. Okay. Good morning, Lord Zine. Hello. We're just doing a little bit of channel upkeep before we go raid somebody. We're actually more or less done with the stream, but it's really nice to see you. How how is life? How is your morning? Oh, 
Um, Monk, that's so nice. So nice of you to offer to help. Um, Monk is always so helpful and nice. Um, Rufki says that's right, but I have to force myself to use more often English. Yeah, well, I mean, you can have you can have the bots, and then you can also, well, the bots might also help you because then um, they will say like you can write the information, and then when the every time the bot says it, you can also read it, so it's easier for you. Um, yay, clappies! Okay. Aha, yes, polls open in 40 minutes. Yes, time to go vote for US people. Um, cool, well that means I can do cool better TTV stuffs. We're gonna have clappies. And so let's see if that works, clap. Oh, yay, now we got clappies. Okay. Oops. Uh, where's my better TTV? What other commands can we make? Oh. I like the wolf one. Wolf, ah, ooh. Wolf Awu. Let's make a command for that just because we can. Ba -ba 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 -ba. New commands. Yeah. Just because, you know, I do like to howl at the moon frequently. What should it be called? Howl? Maybe howl, yeah. Let's howl. Okay. Yeah, my Steam page. Oops, you guys. Oops. Yay, it works. Yeah, thanks, Renat. Thanks, Monk, for your help with the better TTV stuff. I'm happy that I have some cool emotes. Ba 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 Haha, <laughs> okay, we're gonna do goth dance. Okay, we're gonna do a goth dance. Mm-hmm. We'll just call it dance. Now you guys can dance. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, you guys, goths on South Park. That's classic, classic television. Oh, but we have the skelly dance too. Ah, we could do both of them at the same time. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have. We're gonna have. Some skellies. Like so. Okay, how does that look? Ba 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 ba. Oh, Frank, what's up? Oh, you have to go move key. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Crazy dance on. <laughs> hmm. Metal dance or goth dance? Which is better? It's a fight to the death. All right. So we got, uh, yeah, Frank, we just uh, setting up some bot commands because I have a lack of those. How are you doing this morning? How's work? 
All right, we got a dance command now. What else can we have? For some reason, there's two fire, like they have the same, the fires have the same, um, I mean, they're both called fire. And when I type fire, it just does the green one. So I don't know if I can like rename one of them. It's very weird. Um, but for some reason, I can't use this one because they're both named the same. Um, I do like fireworks and I do sometimes have fireworks, uh, fireworks in my, um, what you call it, in my piano visualization stuff. So fireworks could be cool. I don't know. I could send up and I set up endless ones of these, you guys. I like Geralt. I don't know when you guys would do sort of, oh, I know it could be for raids. You know, like raid songs. I guess you missed it, Frank, but we've been doing raid songs. I already sang the a raid song. I made up a raid song today. And I did a different one last time and a different one before that. So it's. I think it's a tradition now. But yeah, I'll, I, think, I think it would be cool to have Gerald in our raid. could do a raid song maybe a raid song command that'd be cool How about raid song I don't know um. <laughs> this is together we what what are the lyrics i have had slightly different lyrics every time to together we rain ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. with our swords held high do 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 together we raid something like that i don't know i don't know you guys i'll have to do it next time we're gonna have a raid song command and it's gonna have Geralt in it right now but I, I think at some point I'll try to like stop improvising the raid song every time and maybe we can just sit down one stream and write a, a raid song that I can sing every time and we're gonna have raid song lyrics about how we're going to raid in a very friendly manner while also pillaging and threatening people with swords it will be a good raid song okay cool now we got a raid song i <laughs> think yeah monk uh lyrics tbd mm. yeah We'll probably, yeah, Monk, it will just use one of them. I guess so. So maybe I would have to delete the green one if I wanted the red one. <sighs> Frank says that work is a good load of bleeps. But other than that, all good. Cool. Yeah, sorry to hear about the bleeps. Good thing. Good thing you are good at screaming. So you can, you know let it out um yeah together we raid now bleed okay we got Geralt what um uh, okay do we want any more any more chat commands or timers I don't think we need I'm trying to think what useful timers and commands folks have set up Together we reign with our swords held high, with our eyes to the sky. We raid and we pillage in a very friendly manner. This is a hot blood raid. 
da 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 Okay, we got a room, we got a rain room. Shout out Discord. I think that's good for now, you guys. That's probably good. Oh, don't get you started on the bloops. The bloops! <laughs> Those goddamn bloops! Um. Once there was a bleep. Once there was a bleep. It was a very happy bleep. Once there was a bleep. And everything was neat. Once there was a bleep, was a very happy bleep. And then came the bloops. The very angry bloops. Then came the bloops with their very bloopy shoes <laughs> and they marched down upon the bleeps and they cut them down where the bleeps uh the bleeps believed they were safe but then the bloops came in a raid and they raised the town to the ground they set everything on fire in the entire town of bleeps And then they set up the bloop nation on the bones of the bleeps. a requiem for the bleeps we used to know and love oh this is a requiem for the bleep town that was raised to the ground by the army of Bloops, bloop, 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 That was a very silly song. A silly song about bleeps and bloops and it wasn't very long I hoped you liked my song it was a encore <laughs> to the stream because I already sang my raid song and then we got distracted and we started to make some really cool commands and now it's time to go even though it makes us sad do 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 
luck with your migrations, Monk and Frank. online neon void is awesome if you want to go to a cyberpunk paradise of improvs um guitar noodles online if you want some ambient guitar music is on and where is that where is it I lost it oh here Camille Cortez sings Zambi for chill cello Ooh, Zanby sounds kind of interesting. Let's see. Zanby. Ooh. Oh, he just left the room. We could still raid. Uh. Oh, he is in Slovenia. That's cool. Or we could go to Kate. I don't see an account that is Kate. Do you mean Kate? Oh, nerdy singer Kate. Oh, cute. Oh, no, wait, no, she's not live. I don't know who, which Kate is live. I don't know. All right, well, let's raid Neon Void. Oh, they're two hour sets, so he's almost done. Maybe we should raid Guitar now. Oh, stupid ads. Okay, look at them raid guitar noodle. <laughs> Which ad blockers do you guys use? Because I freaking hate. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm liking this. Guitar noodles. Ambient music. Alright, we're gonna raid guitar noodle. We're gonna raid. Alright, guys. This is really fun hanging out with all of you. Thank you for, for all the clappies and all the support and for coming here 
time after time. Thanks again for the resubs. And yes, you guys are all, all awesome. Have a great day. And yeah, let's go raid in a very friendly manner. Let us hold our swords high and charge into battle. Um, we're gonna raid Guitar Noodle, who is a very lovely ambient streamer. All right, guys, have a great day. Talk to you all soon at the very latest next Tuesday. And I hope you have a wonderful week until then. Please go to my Discord uh, to chat during the week. Uh, feel free to post uh, to follow my socials, etc. That would mean the world to me. Alrighty, bye bye. See you in a minute in Guitar Noodles Place. <laughs>